Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, if it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you got rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. How about that? So let's see where this energy is. Let's see what we got going on. Trust. Hmm. Is there trust issues? Is there you're learning to trust your feelings? Oh, wow. This is going to be a good read. You're learning to trust your feelings and the universe. Oh, wow. This is a good read. Yeah, your emotions, your feelings, and also trust in your gut um, in regards to the things that you attract um, when it comes to love, when it comes to just dealing with experiences that the universe is teaching you lessons and this is uh for you to have an emotional um an emotional let's see journey because you've been on an emotional journey that's kind of how i see that when it comes to trust so let's go ahead and clarify so attraction divine soul counterpart attraction transcends and superficial um it says let's let's clarify trust trust comes with the high high priestess yeah indecisive intuition trusting your gut trusting your intuition not relying on anyone else and let's clarify the feelings when it comes to feelings being unsure so the knight of swords going after the things that you want seven of swords based upon hidden deceit and not being able to trust the situation um and so therefore you are have become or you're contemplating becoming an unstoppable force force because you've been un excuse me overthinking your feelings so it says, take time to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. So going after the things that you want, also being insecure or uh, not really wanting to deal with your emotions when it comes to the things that you really want. The universe, trusting in the universe and understanding. The card fell on the floor. I couldn't see what it was. Hold on one second. I got to use my foot to get it because it's behind my table leg. Uh Nine of Cups energy, yeah, when it comes to your wishes granted. So trusting in the universe, knowing that the universe is going to give you everything that you want. But it says the universe is guiding you to that special person, allowing everything to take its natural course before everything felt forced. And so with your emotions, look deep within your emotions, comes with, yep, Ten of Coins energy. So understanding where your emotions are, understanding how you feel, how a situation makes you feel, it causes lasting security when you really get to the point of growth and understanding that the joy of learning what the universe has to offer you, learning how you want to be loved, the things you want, and the things and understanding why you're attracting these certain energies because you're not trusting in your gut. You're not trusting your feelings and you're not trusting in the universe. But when that thing change, when it starts to change, then that's you starting to go on a spiritual journey or a spiritual roller coaster. And also understanding, so where you are, yeah, finding your truth, your truth, no one else's truth but yours, based upon how you feel, that's you having a breakthrough of you trusting in your emotions and understanding that the self-doubt that you've been through is all because you put everybody on a catastal, catalyst, I think, or on a pedestal. Someone or something is on your path, is on your path to redirect you. It says, however challenging this is, necessary to refocus your energies so however challenging it is it's it's necessary to refocus your energy and that's growth and that's based upon the things that you attract your understanding and you're yeah you're being empowered based upon the things that you've been through with the person based upon your last experiences or your emotions when it came to that experience how you decided to shut down and not to really deal with a certain situation or to speak your mind that's the reason why i tell you guys listen to the four agreements and also Codependent No More by Melanie Beatty because the thing is, is that your emotions are why you have to unlearn to relearn high priestess energy and trusting in yourself and your intuition, but also hermit energy, soul searching, unlearning to relearn, you know, and trusting in within yourself and going from there. So that is kind of how I see that. Let me pull from uh, this is the Spirit Shields Oracle um, by Cancer Baby Tarot um to see yeah yeah okay so something about the home when it comes to you doing things home improvement new furniture so how i feel about this coming out is that it starts with 
where you are. It starts with your home. It starts with you get decluttering, getting rid of the clutter, understanding that when it comes to certain things, your look, your feel, where you are at home, how if it's clean, if it's cluttered, if it's reminding you of old things that you can't move forward, it's time to declutter. And that's finding your truth, spirit, trusting in the universe. And it's a mental, yeah, it's a mental look. And that's the thing. So seeking therapy, depression, anxiety, su- it says suicidal thoughts. You know, hopefully if that's the case, then we can find, you can, you can find, find help that you need. But, you know, medications, mental illness, these types of things, not, not the mental, I'm not a therapist, you know, at all. But I'm saying like when you feel these different emotions, this is you reaching a catalyst and also looking and empowering yourself to either go out and get help, to try to figure out. All of these things here, there it's about something covering your face, you know, like you not really being in touch with your emotions and and until you start closing your eyes and just trusting in and not overthinking. So the mentality of what causes you to overthink is your feelings and uh, why you feel like you have to unlearn to relearn, why you need to unlearn to relearn and also, you know, looking at your home situation maybe it's time for you to move i'm not sure if you can't afford it then maybe it's time for you to revamp the areas i love thrifting i love going to thrift stores i love going to garage sales yard sales you know finding new pieces centerpieces home goods i love home goods i go to home goods and marshall's all the time and i find one piece of something and that makes me feel good and then I focus my center, uh, the things around it that I'm trying to uh, revamp, you know. And so right here, like it says, I'm not messy. I'm creatively organized. Uh, my other uh, sign that's behind me, behind my desk, it says I like pretty, witty, pretty wor- witty words and pretty things. Um, and so those, this is my area of peace, my office area. This is my area of peace, but I take something that is a focal point of my uh of of something that i see at a store and i revamp around it maybe color scheme something like that something easy instead of you trying to get rid of the furniture you know put a new pillow on it or something like that if that makes sense and so that's kind of where um how i see that but it's your mentality how you um how you feel spiritually mentally physically and emotionally and you know it says new living arrangements but it could be you rearranging now i'm gonna go ahead and pull from the cozy um what is it the cozy witch tarot deck to see what comes out unsure energy the unsure energy is the two of cups energy yeah this is in regards to love and this is in regards to feelings this is in regards to it says some people are like the pumpkin to your spice but if you're unsure about the pumpkin to your spice then that causes emotional issues when it comes to how you feel The other card that comes out is the tower. That's where the endings have to happen when it comes to get ready. Things are about to get shaken up. And that's the tower moments because when you start to feel like what you are attracting, you can't put, you're not trusting in what you're attracting or your emotions or your feelings and something that is not going to add security. That's when it's time for you to find your truth and to start small, but it starts with your surroundings first. So you're decluttering and decluttering sometimes might be changing, you know, the way you see a king of wands. Shine your inner candlelight uh, bright enough for others to follow. Yeah, sometimes it's you, you know, uh, being that catalyst or being that, um, what is it called? Uh, The person who everyone follows, but this time it's about revamping. So this is about finding your truth and understanding the catalyst comes with you ending things in order for beginnings to have new beginnings. And the Ace of Swords, look at you. You're bursting with sparkly new ideas. And so the new ideas comes with you empowering yourself and moving forward, if that makes sense. And so let's go ahead and pull. um, I'll pull from the finance deck. If this has to do with finances or if this has to do with, you know, you you looking at things in a different perspective. And, you know, yeah, the setbacks. 
So you're looking at the setbacks and also using it as a gift. So where there were setbacks, they are not. They are gifts to you. They're lessons, right? Setbacks comes in reverse. And the reverse is don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Use this time to learn from your mistakes. The setbacks were you overthinking right here. Eight of swords is self-doubt. And now the mistakes turn into lessons, which is a gift to you. And so that caused you to not look at it as a setback, right, anymore. You're looking at it as a lesson, and it's a spiritual lesson. It's a mental lesson, and it's a physical lesson. So maybe it was time for you to get up and to go to the gym. Maybe it was time for you to clean up the house. Maybe it was time for you somehow, some way, it was empowering you for growth. And so it's not a setback, you know. And so that's just kind of how I see that energy when it comes to dealing with certain individuals or certain situations. But we're going to pull from the law of attraction to see what you decided to attract in the process of this, you know. And so that's just like the two of cups, all of the unsure energies uh, and you overthinking are, should I stay, should I go if I do this? Heart, heart, mind, union, harmony of the heart, joy and vision with mind, plan and action, faster manifestations, higher vibration. Yeah, so a heart, mind, union calls you mentally, physically, spiritually to realize that beliefs do come true. And that's the ten of coins. And that is the growth that you had to have. And this is also when it comes to the nine of cups, it says wishes granted and this is beliefs come true. So your beliefs create your reality. Recognize and change emotions. Um, it says reprogram subconscious minds. So again, physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, you're attracting the best now because now you understand what it looks like, feels like, and is to be empowered or to empower yourself, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and pull from the four agreements. Again, if you want to know about how I feel about the four agreements, I'll click the link up. I'll put the link up above. All right, two cards come out. And also from the crystal deck, the crystal deck uh, focuses on the chakras. Hold on, I got to grab them. I messed my arm up. I don't know what I did with my arm. But anyway, it focuses on the chakras. I'll link that above too as well. Um, the moss agate comes out. And the moss agate is the heart chakra. So always do your best. And then don't take anything personal. So the setbacks, major comebacks, setbacks, unlearning to relearn, hermit energy, and also trusting in your intuition, right? Trusting your feelings and understand that the universe isn't going to lead you down the wrong direction. The universe is going to show you how to manifest the right way and understand that wishes do come true. But you got to learn not to take things personally because you've done your best at the end of the day and that all lessons are blessings and also a gift to you because you be, you be, it says you, you become immune to other people's opinions. Be immune to others' opinions. It says what others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. So the heart-mind union comes with you ending in order to begin so it's a gift to you to attract the negative in order to get over it and become positive about every situation because you've done your best express your own divinity it says you don't need the acceptance of others you don't need knowledge you don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts you have the right to be you and you express your own divinity by a lot by being alive and by loving yourself and others. So again, be the catalyst, right? The catalyst. And it says someone or something is on your path to redirect you. However challenging, this is necessary to refocus your energies. And so you are the catalyst. You're going to change the way you do things. You're going to change your look. You're going to change uh, the way you spiritually see things, the way you mentally and uh, physically feel by empowering yourself you're going to empower others to do better. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, 
generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.